Good morning. My name is Joe, and I live in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, and I have been uh, a lifelong Republican through the uh, election of 2020. I did not vote for Donald Trump in 2016 or 2020. I, I knew what he was from my long career in banking, and I would have nothing to do with him. And shortly after the election, this big fantasy started about the election was stolen. And the Republican response to that was just completely inadequate. And I changed my uh, registration to independent because I could no longer be a party to that kind of nonsense. In the period of Trump, the Republican Party went from being a safely conservative party to one that seems to be uh, long on moralizing white nationalism uh, and all kinds of other, shall we say, bogus fantasies uh, to take advantage of people's uh, emotions and fears. The biggest one that I've seen since the election is this increasing emphasis on restricting voting. Now, I started voting in 1967 while I was in college and continued while serving in the Marines and voted many, many times while in the Marines and later in my business career, absentee. So I could safely say I have voted absentee more often than not. It's very important that we give access to people to vote and not create artificial barriers in the name of some false nonsense about voter security. It's nothing more than an excuse to reduce the voter turnout because the GOP has not got arguments to and answers to today's current pressing problems. In 2020, the party nominated Donald Trump it did not have a platform, and that says it all. There are no solutions other than just holding on to power uh, for the sake of guys who have been for all, all too often around too long. Think about how long Mitch McConnell has served in the United States Senate, at least 36 years. That's too long. So we need a party that cares about people, that has truly conservative solutions, that empowers people to address their problems. And the Republican Party has lost sight of that critical notion, the ability to empower people to solve their problems and to have equal opportunity regardless of their race or religion or background. Thank you much. And I hope that we can get back hold of the Republican Party before it's too late. Thank you.